Hi, we're live on Facebook, and I just want to uh, take a moment to say uh, uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, we have a special guest for you today. Uh, my guest today is, uh, is uh, Dr. Modine uh, Hosta uh, from the Cognitive Institute of Orlando. He's going to discuss the uh, Montreal Cognitive Assessment Test that was taken by President Trump. Um, it's been said that although, and it's acknowledged that the president aced this test, but it just simply means that he's uh, not displaying clinical indications of pronounced cognitive decay or dementia. Um, and so then that's, that's not like acing the SAT or something like that. Or am I off base here? Uh, are you there? Yes, I am. Thank you. Um, it's, it's great to be here. Uh, it is I, Modine. Um, and I would like to say um, that actually, you, you may be surprised to hear this, uh, to the contrary, considering what the president has had to deal with, uh, you know, just impeachment and, and things like that, you know, here and there and, and fake news and, and all of these things, um, you know, acing the Montreal test could in fact be more impressive than getting a 1400 on the SAT. More impressive than getting a 1400 on the SAT? Uh, well, now if you look at it, you see, um, you know, most people who take the SAT, they'll study, you know, for it in advance for weeks at a minimum. Special classes, uh, just clubs of people, uh, it's, and lots of pressure, lots of pressure. You know, people can ace anything if they have time to study. If you, really? put, a, if you put enough monkeys in a room together, you know, they'll write Shakespeare. Now, that's a fact. That's been documented. Trouble is, most people, they don't give the monkeys enough time. To finish the draft. I'm. I, I don't know if you could give monkeys. You could give them a month or two. Like I couldn't imagine them to write Shakespeare here. You know. It, it's been clocked at about one, a month and three weeks. Month. You know, almost two months. Um, now I should I should note that uh, the president, um, he he's got the fate of the world on his mind. So you know, in the midst of the pandemic, mind you, and he was able. He was able on the spot to count backwards from 100s by sevens. I I, don't, I can't even I can't even fathom this. I can't even. This is this sounds this sounds crazy to me. I mean, I, I could do that. I'm sure of it. I, I okay. know. I can do that. Well, I mean, I do have the Montreal uh, cognitive assessment here. Um, if you'd like, uh, we can go ahead and have this little back and forth, and I'll I could try it right now. Uh, well, we could give it a try. Um, let me let me see of this. Um, let, let's do let's do some of these. Okay. Now the president, uh, you may have heard this, you may not have heard this, but uh, he was actually able to tap on the table whenever he heard the letter A in a string of letters. Now my first challenge A. That's correct. That's that'd be the first letter. Now what I'm what I would like to do for you is I would like to have you do the same thing. So now, I know you're an intelligent person. Like that, like tap on the table? Uh, yes, you can do it that hard, maybe perhaps a little softer. Um, as long as it's audible, that's the most important thing. I'm loud on this. Um, Sorry. I did, I did notice a little bit of camera disruption there. Um, so, you know, that's not necessary, but hey, if you have to get into it, that's totally fine, I understand. All right, there we go. Hey, you can psych yourself up for it, as they say. <clears throat> okay, now, one more time, I'm going to read you a series of letters and you tap on the table when I say the letter A. All right, I'll give it a try. <clears throat> G, F, L, A, U, A, E, P, Q, A, N, O, N, I, S, R, E, A, L, A, N, P. How did I do? Did you? Are you scoring me there? I mean, I, I think uh, I was. Twice, yes. Twice. Um, now, according to the uh, according to the test, um, you must you do not pass if there are more than two errors, greater than or equal to two errors. Okay. Unfortunately, I did count greater than or equal to two errors. Um, there were All right. four A's in that string, uh, and I saw one tap. 
okay. Um, I, I tap more than that. I did. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, but okay. I, I'm going to have to go with it. At least I'm not trying to be president right here. So that's the, that's the main thing. That is true. We do have higher standards for the president than we do for um, the journalist community. I have to, I have to say, my, my uncle uh, tries to hold me uh, to the, or the president to my standards sometimes. I get in these arguments with him. But, you know, mm. different you, you know, when you're on a completely different level, there is no competition. It's like hard. It's a hard test. It is. It's, it's really, it's like comparing apples to, to custard apple. But you said so that, it like the SAT. So, I mean. That's true. That's true. Um, and to your credit, to your credit, one of the main strategies for the SATs is if you don't know the answer, skip it because you lose points for a wrong answer. Mm. And you did skip a number of those A's. So I will give you that. I got to think, you know, next time I do the SAT, I'll, I'll, when I don't know the answer, I'm just going to tap the table. I'm going to try that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I have seen that be a viable strategy. It's a good strategy. Um, okay, well. Uh, another question on the test I remember was saying as many words beginning with F as possible in one minute. That's absolutely true. Um, now the key for this one, uh, you have to list at least uh, 11 uh, or greater than or equal to 11 words in order to uh, score the point for that uh, fluency question. Okay. Um, so uh, if sorry. you'd like to start, let me know if you're ready. My clock is set. Oh, sorry, let me get in the zone here. Go ahead. Uh, okay, I'm going to give it a try now. Ready? Tell me when to start. Oh, we've been going for 15 seconds. Fat fucking fascist. Fat fucking fascist. Fat fucking fascist. I can only, I can only think of three words right now. Um, trying to, I'm trying to get into like the Trump headspace and I keep coming up with Narcissistic fat fucking fascist. That's, that's and time. Um, I'm going to be moving on. Um, in any case, uh, I think the case is well proven that acing a test like this is not a given. Well, uh, one of the questions that keeps that was counting back from a hundred. That was, is this a dementia test or is I drinking and driving again, officer? You know, I mean that that's what it sounds like to me. Um, there's a, a there's a question about naming an animal on the on by its shape. Now, I saw a rhinoceros on this test, and I'm I'm certain if Donald saw saw a rhino, he would have said Mitt Romney. Um, but if uh, is there or an elephant? Like who can't name an elephant based on its shape? Now it's funny you should ask that. I. I... I do have a bit of a personal feeling on this matter, and I'm sorry to bring it um, to the table here. But an elephant is a very complex shape. Do you, do you know how complex a shape an elephant is? Now, this is a creature that took millions, not billions, but millions of years to evolve in, in, in wholly unique dimensions. Third, mostly third, partly fourth, mostly third, still interesting, still interesting dimensions. Yeah, <laughs> mostly. This, these, now these are creatures that are longer than they have to be. Now, here, now any, any given ungulate can perform its job, which is to say, eat constantly and reproduce and without these long, extendy things, giant ears, a, a trunk that defies the, a Mobius strip of a nasal cavity. It, it I just just thinking about it, it, it makes me want to hide in a hole. I, it's it's brilliant, and and oh. when I think about an elephant and how complex they are, and how there are four legs, yeah. and and not three, and not five, but four legs, and they can't jump because they're so heavy. And then not only that, but you have African elephants and you have, you have Asian elephants. And, and the Asian elephants, they've got, these, they've got these ridiculous small ears. You know, 
it, it, it makes me wonder if the, if, the, if the animal he identified was an Asian or an African elephant, but it, it could have been either one. And it would, have been, it would have been just as equally amazing. And I think that the elephant deserves a little bit of respect because the elephant is not just a rhinoceros with a trunk. And the elephant is not just a camel without a hump. And the elephant is not just a lion without teeth, with teeth, but different teeth. And if my Donald saw a rhinoceros, he would have called it Romney and he would have been right. And he's amazing. That is profound. And he did see an elephant where there was no elephant. And he aced the test as far as I am concerned. I think you've made a point here today, Modine. Dr. Hostep, I think that, that you, you're, you have clearly identified that we are lucky to have this commander in chief who's a brilliant man. He's facing this test, this, this cognitive test shows how- 30 out of 30. Cognitively superior he is. 30. Oh, man. If there were extra credit, he would have scored 35. He would find a way, give him another try. I mean, you've convinced me, sir, and uh, I'm, I'm so glad that you were able to clear this up for us. Um, I wish you well and, and safety in, uh, you know, in, your, in, in your work, and I hope that your family stays well. Thank you for joining us, and uh, I hope you'll join, me, join with me out on the campaign trail for our Commander-in-Chief. I will be leading the charge with my paper in hand and my pen and my knowledge. Thank you, sir. Take care.